what's going on, everybody? It's your boy. Wow, bow, bow, bow. <laughs> what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Chad Arms, aka Chad D. Bob B. Alamdari. What's going on, everybody? I am Tony, aka Friday the 14th. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yep, just what I thought. It's about that time. <laughs> I'm Hot Mike King. <laughs> I can watch you. Yes, sir. He has props. <laughs> Where did you? And take it over for the 99 nine, 2000, boy. Oh, it's 2024, my bad. It's Brandon E. What it do? Well, Brandon E. You? back again, three times the charm, Yes. Son. Yep. Yes. I mean, I. I'm sorry, Brandon. You had to follow up that. Man. Yeah, well, I know. Trick right there. <laughs> what, Got nothing. This guy. What, over talk here. about that. Don't just put that back in your pocket <laughs> like it didn't happen. I mean, just. This I mean, ready. I mean, this is just a the deal things. that I came up on, and I couldn't pass it up. So, <laughs> like the theme song off of Days of Our Lives. Yeah. 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 I mean, all you're missing I, is a <laughs> monocle right now. Yep. He needs a monocle. I know we had Mr. Peanut on the podcast this week. <laughs> <laughs> He needs one of them Cruella Deville like. I'm a stoves. distinguished gentleman. Yeah, you okay. are. Dude. Okay, okay. Get the pinky out there too. Sounds, Sounds like it. the party all the time. Wow. Yep. Yeah, dude. That Guys, was, that that took me. That, that yeah, me we, yeah. <laughs> shout out, shout out to everybody, man. We appreciate everybody tuning in. Yes. We're glad to have the homie Brandon E back on. Yes. Yeah, this is his third appearance on the show, and uh, we're going to speak on something different from wrestling this time. We're going to speak on TV show themes. Yes, Ooh. a great one. Yeah, uh, I think this. I think this may, was this your idea on the episode, and or it was probably, y'all were talking, it talking about it in the background. It's always we were, <laughs> what it was going to be. Fun fact: Inside Baseball. It was going to be. I was thinking like TGIF shows, but I was like, well, that's kind of a for a whole episode. You know what I mean? Like we could have done it. Yeah. But then we, I think he was saying something about the themes because we we always would sing them. I would have mm. ran it for the entire hour about every character on Family Matters. <laughs> <laughs> I would have talked so much. <laughs> Beep! How about Waldo, Geraldo, Faldo? What's that? Coon. Yeah. No cry, Bob. <laughs> Brandon's never go. been a Waldo, Geraldo, oh, Faldo man, fan. Oh, man, here dude. we go. What's that? <laughs> I'm like, what? We're in it already. Wait, dude, back in the day. <laughs> When me and Brandon used to watch, we used to watch TV shows all the time, and Family Matters is one that we always would make. He would he would always go off about uh, Waldo, but I, and I, I hate it. I wasn't a fan of Carl. But Karma came back to me because I love you, my sweet daughter Jagger, but she looks just like Richie on Family Matters. <laughs> <laughs> and Denise off Full House, she looks just like both of them. Denise, <laughs> she looks just Whoa. like her. I tell her this all the time. Yeah, I don't know, look like Richie. Yes, I kind of do. <laughs> so okay, so Richie, so, underrated character. Yes. Not well. Yeah, he sucks. <laughs> <laughs> tried, he goes Richie. out. He pulls up on that little bicycle. <laughs> it's a wreck and this shit. His little hair right His little Jerry Curls movement and stuff. But you gotta, you gotta give it to Family Matters. The best thing about Family Matters was the theme song. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 It's one of the top TV show theme songs to me. That's a fact. But how? When I Carl Winslow. Uh, <laughs> How they got him for, in Die Hard? He's playing the pretty much the exact same character as he is in Family Matters. Hell yeah! <laughs> and, then, and it's it's a spinoff of Perfect Strangers, right? Is it? I believe so. It may be. I look because Harriet was on Perfect Strangers. Mm -hmm. Oh, shout out to Balky, dude! Yeah, wow. shout out to yeah. Balky. Well, I did not know I, that. I believe I'm correct on. They had a couple spinoffs. Cause I feel like Step by Step was a spinoff of Family Matters, if I'm not mistaken. You see, Step by Step was uh, I love Step. Oh yes, step by step. but of hey, course. Brandon's the man. The mm -hmm. series was a spinoff from ABC sitcom Perfect Strangers. Both shows airs for, aired Friday nights on TGIF. Mm -hmm. Joe Marie Payton, who was yeah the grandma, played Harriet Winslow and the elevator operator at a newspaper where Larry Appleton and Balky Bartakamus worked. Wow. Showing my age, everybody. Wow. Showing my age. <laughs> and showing my nerdiness. <laughs> Dude, shout out a to call right there. There's right nothing there. better. There's a reason. Than a we Friday night. The yeah. light with a Tostino's pizza <laughs> and a little TGIF action. And Do you might what? Here's the here's a question. Uh oh. Totino's pizza. How are you cooking your Totino's pizza? Are you microwaving it? Are you a psychopath that microwaves it? <laughs> it depends on if, if I'm starving and I'm yeah. super hungry. I'm microwaving that shit. If I got some time, if I'm not really that hungry and got about 
30, 40 minutes to, yeah. to kill, then, of course, you're going to go it with the oven. on the laziness. That crispiness. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> no, dude, and the that air crunching. frying them it makes them hit oh, a yeah. whole yeah. different Can you imagine though. if we had an that. air fryer dude. when air fryers dude, were around? Dude, air fryer? Dude. Oh, oh my God. And I know it's, it's cliche. All fat people say air fryers change their life. And you know what? They do. They change my I'm sold on it. They'll make stuff jump back so good in the damn air fryer, dude. It could be a fucking boot on the side of the road. Yes, dude. she puts some kind of. Some seasoning. Love and tender. <laughs> <Love and tenders. laughs> a little bit of that Dino's. That, that salt bay on there. <laughs> that, that salt it bay falls on. off the bone, dude. Uh, I'm, too, I'm too bougie for all that. Oh. It's got to be the got to be the oven. I ain't messing oven. with what, it. What, oh, okay. what, which you one y'all going with? You going for uh, for the Tostinos? Um, it's going in the oven. When well, yeah. you said bougie, I thought you were about to say like, <laughs> Team Stone Pizza or yeah, something. Yeah, I thought you were going to go like Red, Red Baron. Baron's my favorite. Red, Red Baron. Baron's my favorite. <laughs> yeah. your, is, your, is your favorite Red Baron? I like recent Red Baron. Red Baron's I don't think I have a favorite because when you're – Fat and poor, you don't really have a you choice. You just take what you get. Yeah, yeah. Well, for the, like, the quality to price ratio, Red Baron is where it's at. You know, honest yeah. truth, though, like it is a better pizza. But Tostino's had that McDonald's effect on me as a kid. McDonald's mm-hmm. was not that good. But you're a kid and it just hits you yeah. a certain mm-hmm. way. That's how you, Tostino's did. It's exactly yeah. what it is. And, it's, and kind of like I a still Mandela like them effect. to this day. Yeah. But when you eat it. <laughs> yeah, for real. When you, eat, when you eat the Tostino's. Is it Totino's or Tostino's? I think oh, it's Totino's. above people. I think it's Totino's. Oh, well, I've never called it Totino's. I've I always called Totino's. it Tostino's. I've, I have I too. So I, this may be one of those Mandela effects No, well. it's a Mandela. Okay. It's the Mandalorian I think it's Totino's. Saying it wrong. Totino's. Totino. Totino, are you fucking kidding me? No one's ever corrected me. <laughs> I no way's correct. I'm walking away with my Tostino. It's to- Totino's, yeah. It is. It sounds so, better. <laughs> well, the thing is, it's not. But you it, do toast them. This is true. Yeah. <laughs> but the, th- the thing is, though, like he was saying, with the Totino's pizzas, is they're like McDonald's, where they don't even really taste like food. No. No. You don't really know what you're getting into. No. You just think it's great. That's the that's the perfect description of well, like like Tostino's pizzas. Yeah. <laughs> the school pizzas, those square pizzas oh, those at school are, oh, back in the day. So good. Dude, oh, Mel so found a way good. to get those from somebody through through the people at Blue Roof, and she ordered some. And bro, you talk about memory lane. Uh, are they still fired up? <laughs> yes, dude. Oh they don't. To, she thinks they they hit the same. I don't remember them hitting. I remember hitting better as a kid, but I was a fucking kid, you but know. Like the, like yeah. the older, They're still really good. Like though. the little square pieces of cheese and like the little yeah. square oh my pieces God. of pepper. Yeah. Friday pizza. Nothing oh hit God. like that kid cuisine pizza though. Oh. And that and that really burnt like brown <laughs> it, it. Yeah. it looked like a burn end. <laughs> we know so you though. we know your favorite pizza. Uh, uh, sir Pizza over there off Charlotte. Melissa's. Yeah. Yeah. Melissa's. Sir Melissa's. Pizza. Dope for sure. Well, it depends on what Sir Pizza you, you go you to. said the one in West the one Nashville. On, the one on Charlotte. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's Melissa's Sir yeah. Pizza. Yeah. It's got to be that. Baby. Yeah. The yeah. one over in Hermitage sucks. The one yeah. in View is terrible. okay. The one in Rivergate lasted like three months and they closed it. Well, it Melissa's. Didn't last no time. Melissa yeah. still has the yeah, same oven from the 60s. Yep. Shout, yeah, shout, Melissa. shout out to right Melissa. Right yeah. We, yeah. we know yeah. you're watching. Yep. Shout out to Tony's with, wife, Melissa. She yeah. probably is watching. Mm-hmm. But probably the Melissa not. from the service. Shout, <laughs> shout, shout out to Melissa Joan Hart. She's, yeah, there you go. Another TTI. Oh, there we go. It's getting back to, yeah, I got us way off track about pizza. We're going to always get off track when I'm at this table. It's food, man. We always do too. At least now when you're here, We'll make uh, more like facts, <laughs> maybe. We, well, the, we just thought Totino yeah, was Tostino our whole I life. Asked G's before I got here. So <laughs> don't, 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 I can't take credit. Yeah, but that man. is a Mandela. I, I think everybody and their mother thought that. It, even probably watching right now swears it's Tostinos. Well, this, yeah, Ho this, Kogan ate Tostinos. Yeah. Ho <laughs> Kogan, H O C O G A N. Ho Kogan. Damn it! Don't tell me none of y'all did not say Ho Kogan. Ho Kogan, dude. Everybody in Ele- LMNOP, not L M N O P. LMNOP. Everybody, what's your favorite letter in alphabet? I swear to God, I say LMNOP to this day. <laughs> By the way, I forgot to chat the sponsors: Trouble Spirits, Revolution One Media. Well, Our entire Survivor Series of wrestlers <laughs> yeah. and Totino's Pizza. Guys. Everybody is officially represented that's been on this show now. We yeah. got the Natural Disasters, as in us, yep. with Jimmy Hart, which is Chance. Flying Brian Pillman with the Cruiserweight title, yep. which is Squints, yep. that's been on the show. Shout out to Squints. Yeah, shout we out. got Sting with the big gold belt, which is BJ. We got yeah, yeah. Virgil holding the money belt. The Virgil, the meat sauce. The meat sauce. The meat sauce. I'm the gunny gunny some meat sauce. And if you have a mental image of Sanchez Turner, 
This is him right here. This beast of a man that's right there. That's, that's, that's the biz. biz. Not messing with Sanchez. But yeah, right. we have a whole cast of, of of characters now. We're just gonna make it a thing. Yeah, and, and Mean Gene's just here to pester Chance. Yeah, <laughs> Mini Mean, and then we got yeah, Mike yeah, Mean over mean, here. Big Mean. <laughs> He's getting the scoop. But we're, yeah, we're talking about re- uh, TV. I was about to say wrestling themes, but that was last week, yep. which was a shorter episode than usual. It but was it's probably banger. Of oh episode. my god! It Can turned out to be absolute magic. All disaster. thanks to this masterpiece guy. disaster. Well, and fu- fun fact: we can talk about it now because yeah. we're here. We filmed an entire hour long episode. <laughs> we get done. We go to look. It was never recording. Never. So None. we looked at each other and said, well, guys, what are we going to do? And I said, let's see if we can get a 30-minute one in. We'll try to just kind of speedball through it. And we had what I feel is the best segment in the history of the show. <laughs> the first five minutes of episode 53 is the best segment magic. of the entire Absolute podcast. magic. And it's all thanks to this It's all thanks here. to Chiz Ants. So, no. Um, oh, but no, you don't want to Family Matters is what we let off with. We, yes. Y'all want to – We'll yeah. just kind of go down the just, line. Yeah, just throw some out there. It's throw some out there that stick out to you. It don't have to be chrono- chronological. Chronological <laughs> lore. Okay. Uh, well, me, I'll throw one out there. Yep. From a childhood, one that always stuck to, uh, t- uh, stuck out to me, and I'll sing it for you, a little ditty for you. <laughs> Duck tails. Ooh. ooh <laughs> devil, <laughs> devil, devil, That's about the only word. Duck tails. Ooh. Oh yeah. Shout out to Huey Lewis. Yes. Yes. Ducktails. Ducktails had a banger yeah. of a song. Dude. I love Ducktails. Yeah, man, yeah. And, and of course, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yep. That that theme was a banger in my of my childhood oh, dude. as Let well. Let go of my arm, Leo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He was so he thought he was so hard on the movie, but he's a little punk ass on the cartoon. <laughs> Raphael's what I'm speaking of. Just in case oh, y'all didn't know who I'm favorite about. favorite Ninja Turtle, Leo. It was Raphael for me. Oh, okay. I like Raphael. That yeah, was too. Michelangelo. Yeah, nope. yeah. yeah. I will send you a picture of me with a flat top in the 90s wearing a Raphael shirt. I'll make that Hell happen. yeah, dude. I, I do <laughs> Bam. Have it. Yes. <laughs> Ninja, Turtle, Ninja Turtles and 89 Batman movie oh, yeah. consumed my life in 89 and 90. 1989 yeah. Batman movie. I went and seen it at Fountain Square Mall. Oh, my God. R.I. Yeah. to the motherfucking <laughs> thing. <page. laughs> yes. Fountain yeah, Square. Fountain Square, dude. It was Miami Vice before, like, Nashville had any kind of bougie to it. <laughs> People <laughs> couldn't handle it because it, it was bougie. Yeah, it was like two hips. Went down there, I own an opera, my opera land hotel. <laughs> shut the fuck up. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> Just shut up. No, you don't want to see change. You want to sit at home, watch Mama's Family, and, and drink lemonade. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Hey, country no. Time Lemonade, too. I do like Country Time Lemonade. I do. Country I Time. I saw something at Walmart yeah. a couple yeah. weeks ago. Hey, I go bumping. with that uh, Arizona Arnold Palmer mix, a half and half lemonade. Well, Arnie Palmy action, dude. Arnold Palmer. Mm-hmm. Speaking of Ar- Arnold Palmer, Married with Children had a fire song. That yep. has nothing to do with Love Arnold Palmer. and marriage. Not this Frank Sinatra. Love and marriage. Mm-hmm. Dude, I mean... <laughs> That was another show that me and oh Brandon gosh. watched all the time. <laughs> yes. And I think we have di- – I think me and you are on the same page where we're more fans of Steve. Absolutely. We okay. we were not Absolutely. Jefferson fans. I'm not – I wasn't a Jefferson fan. No. Me and him always loved – because when me and him uh, had a – with roommates, it was when DVD TV shows were just starting to come oh, out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. 2004. Mm-hmm. I, remember, I remember the night. Seinfeld and Home Improvement came out on His DVD. Life changed. <laughs> I called him up. I was like, "Bro, look, season one." And, he was, and then season one of Seinfeld is just obviously just it's not not really can't good. sell me on it. No, but same. that's that's when all that stuff was happening. And uh, Married with Children was the same oh, way. I love the show. Oh, and Home Improvement's a banger of a a piece of me will always feel like I'm Griff from Married with Children, though. You think so? I thought Griff was a fucking cool guy. Griff was the only <laughs> thing. He was a cool he guy. He was the only thing funny about it towards the end. Like, yeah. Bundy wasn't funny anymore. Like, everything was kind of, it, um. It ran it, it, it ran its it course. It ran its course for yeah, sure. Th- th- that's a show that a couple, se- two or three seasons wow, of it. early seasons, though. Yeah, those early good. seasons are absolute greatness. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, Absolutely. But how many, how many seasons of Married with Children? Eight. eight seasons? I believe it's eight seasons. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken. Uh, from like 88, 87, 88 to like 97, something like that. Yeah, I know that they did 11 seasons. And I remember they lost me when they started getting set when the kid. Seven? That yeah. was his name? Seven, yeah. yeah, yeah. But after Steve left, I still like I liked yeah, that I liked, first I season with Jefferson. Jefferson. Yeah, but because that's when they had the supermarket episode. Oh, that's, and all that. that's, my, that's my favorite episodes, one. Man. <laughs> but yeah, Married with Children. 
I was saying the DVD stuff because when the DVD came out, you remember they they couldn't put it on yeah, there, so it was some really generic. Because it's, it's the Sinatra. Because yeah. the Sinatra license, uh, yeah, yeah. But I always like watching. I think if you watch it on syndication, they still play. Yeah, it, it is on. It's on Hulu. It's on there, and they, yeah. and they do it. So I didn't know that sure. about the whole. Yeah, Sinatra the DVDs band. when we was buying the DVDs, it was that's how it was. It was it was like this really generic, wannabe sounding love and marriage song. And see, like theme music now, nowadays to TV shows, you really don't pay attention to because you know what you can yeah. do now. You just hit that skip. They don't. Everybody hits it because everybody streams yeah. everything. And you just skip. There's the no theme. effort yeah. put in the, in the theme songs now. I, I, everything I have on here, it's nothing old. is new. Yeah, yeah. right, it's right. Old. I think yeah. the newest one I have on here is Breaking Bad. Well, mm. oh, that's a pretty good thing. You do yeah. just that yeah. don't, and it's simple. Yeah. Yeah. It's very simple. But the most themes are nowadays you are streaming everything. It's just skip skip intro. That's true. Everybody does it. That is true. I didn't think about that. That's so a there, good point. I would, there, why put any effort into it nowadays when? Probably about ninety percent of people just skip over it. You know, well, another good theme song that just no, backtracking off yeah. you for like married with children licensing reasons. The Wonder Years. Mm-hmm. Yep, because that was uh, it. Never came out on DVD, bro. I don't believe it did. I don't think well, it. Everything we so, waited on it for the long. I think it finally did. In like, a, did I it think really? it finally did. But was that Bob Seger? No, it wasn't Bob Seger. No, it was. Uh, uh, oh, why would you, you do, do Bob? Bo- oh gosh, not, dude. Not Bob Dylan. Not Brandon's going to save us. What would you do? Oh, he's he's going to say. Chance is going to say it. I'm going to be like, of course that's who it is. I know who it is. Would you? Uh, Joe Cocker. Yeah. Joe, Joe Cocker. Joe, yeah. Joe, Joe Cocker. Cocker. Yeah. Yeah. Joe okay. Cocker. Way off. Hard <laughs> would you do? <laughs> no, nah, yeah, they had so many references to like 60s and 70s like yeah. and stuff. So like like the moon landing and stuff. JFK yeah. getting shot. So that's yeah. so much like. So that's probably why they could never. I think no. it finally did finally get a DVD release. It may have now, but like back yeah. then. When we yeah, yeah, back then I don't think so. It was out. like yeah. within, within the last couple Great of years. Great show. Great theme song. Shout out to Wendy Cooper. She is a math teacher in the state of Tennessee now. Fun fact. Okay. Yes. Hell yeah! Shout out to Winnie Cooper for shout out. Really? To, yes, she is here doing the devil's work, trying to help these little <laughs> snot nosed kids these learn something. Snot. It ain't the kids' fault; that's just the parents' fault. Yeah, so, I yeah. concur. Shout out to Winnie and Paul Pfeiffer. You were not Marilyn Manson. We know that. So, <laughs> how did that get? How was that a thing? Because Ash G's wasn't asking at the time. Yeah. You know? <laughs> so you couldn't yeah, look it up. Yes, it, yeah, it makes me heard it. No matter where you came yes. from, you heard that. Paul Pfeiffer from Wonder Years was Marilyn Manson. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I thought so for years. Yeah, I, I, crazy, I had dude. me sold on it. Yeah, I did. I believed it too. <laughs> I did too. I mean, of course, I believed. I mean, you it's another one. Me the sky was uh, orange. Like, oh, really? Is it really? Well, they said it was. <laughs> it's one of the, another one of those onomatopoeias. Word of the day. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Getting fancy over here, man. <laughs> onomatopoeias. Dude, I remember. Yeah, I was believing stuff was real. I thought the Blair Witch. We talked about. That. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, but yeah, man, that's uh, another good one. I say, speaking on that same kind of era, who's the boss? Mm. Oh yeah, yeah. Who's yeah. The time yeah. For love, <laughs> brand new life, brand new life. Oh, 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 oh Mona, oh Mona, <laughs> oh. <laughs> What? Ladies Tony Danza. Tony Danza has, was has joined the podcast. Tupac. Yeah, shout most out frequent Danza. visitor while he was in prison. Yeah, did you mm. know that? Tony Danza was yeah. really visited him the most. I want to say they talked about that in one of those documentaries. Yes, it was. Yeah. Resurrection. Yep, it was the resurrection. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah dude. Tony Imagine him walking in there. Oh, Machiavelli. What's <laughs> up, man? <laughs> <laughs> like, dude. Yeah, that, that, Angela couldn't make it. Yeah. <laughs> and when you think about it, too, like going back and looking at some of those TV shows, the sets were all the same. All if you oh, think yeah. about it, mm-hmm. if you think about it, who's the boss, I'm, I'm thinking in my head, it's almost the exact same setup as the Family Matter set. Yeah, yeah. yeah. growing pain. So uh, no, not growing pain. Grow- they looked very similar. Yeah, they all yeah, they're, 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 they're probably all in the same yeah. studio. Yeah. Yeah. House, yeah. But I love the theme song for, for, for Growing Pains. I mean, for Who's the Boss? Well, and Growing Pains. But who's the Boss was dope. Yeah. Well, hit, hit me with the Growing Pains one real quick so I'm going to remember. Show me that smile. Oh, I love <laughs> <again>. <laughs> No <laughs> need to run a living in hell. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Boner. I hate Kirk Cameron. We've talked about this before oh, in the first five episodes. Yes. I, yeah. I thought he was so cool when I was little. Though. Oh, boy. I yeah. thought he was so cool. Yeah. yeah Most people did. Yeah. I was not one of them. No. Nope. I hate. I just hated him. He gets a pass. That's Candace Cameron's brother. Yeah, yeah. I see. I, I just learned that with uh, by filming this podcast. Oh, really? Yes. I did not realize that they were siblings. They sure were. Candace Cameron Bure, and if she's still with in, 
And she's still, I believe so. Yeah, she's Sounds good. She, she does things right. She right. does. She's she's like a fine wine. She's gotten better with age. Yeah. Hell yeah. Spe- well, speaking of Candace Cameron, Full House, Full, Full House. House. Oh, yeah. Would you say top two, top five? It's Member my, most memorable, it's yeah. Your favorite. yeah. It's not yeah. my. I don't have a favorite. I okay, really don't, yeah. but it's, would it be probably in top five? Yeah, yeah. Sure. yeah. yeah I mean, I any, it'd have to be. Anybody yeah. in our area can just start singing that song at any, oh, any yeah. moment. Yeah. I love it. I mean, that made me want to visit San Francisco. Yeah, it was like yeah. the whole like San Francisco. Thing. Except for Dave Couillet. Yeah, yeah another know. another. Uh, uh, as much as I as much as I don't care for Kirk Cameron, Dave Couillet, it's a whole other level. I will go on record with anybody in debate that Joey Gladstone was the most worthless character. Worth what did he contribute to the to the house, dude? That that down that basement bedroom that he had was the ultimate he, player he, setup down there. He was what, no player. There was no play going on because he was Joey Gladstone. He wasn't funny. He had that stupid woodchuck. He dread that little voice trying to be funny. Nobody thought it was funny. He Joey. had the hockey goalie sitting in the corner. Do you think he actually Where did paid he rent? work? He was an out of work comedian that wasn't funny. Do you think he funny. paid rent? No, he no. didn't. He was a babysitter. He was a babysitter. But he, Alanis Morissette wrote a whole classic fucking album about his ass. <laughs> That's another reason. I said just to add to the like. What did Uncle Jesse do? I'm Jesse. Well, Uncle Jesse he was, was cool. Je- no, he, don't, don't you, com- <laughs> don't you try to compare Joey Gladstone with Je- like I've said before. He wasn't with Uncle Jesse and the Ripper shooting in the gym. Time. Yeah, <laughs> they were when they were pounding out. When Je- Jesse was bringing the Beach Boys to the house. Is that true? Good, what, okay. what is Joey Gladstone good point, doing? Good point. Good point. Good oh, point. I got a joke. You want to hear it? No, Joey. <laughs> you can't fucking make a joke that's funny because you're a worthless piece of shit. And I hate everything about your character. This uh, this had to be the biggest skinny house I've ever seen in my Seriously? life. Though, yeah, the, it had. Oh anytime you can make Bob, anytime R.I.P. Bob Saget. <laughs> yes. Anytime you the can goat. make Danny Tanner look like the cooler one. Ooh, you're, that's a good point. <laughs> I hate Joey Gladstone so bad, dude. I want to know when they when they turned the garage where. You know, in the early season, the garage where Uncle Jesse's motorcycle was yeah. parked, is that what turned into Joey's bedroom? Yeah, because, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. What's, he's not contributing to where they could build all of that. <laughs> so he's got to make do a makeshift room for him, and he gets the biggest room in the house with the least contribution. And then they turn the attic into a whole other apartment for Jesse and Rebecca and the twins. They should have let they should have let Kimmy Gibbler they should have let Kimmy and Gibbler's slut ass move into the basement <laughs> and kick Joey to the fucking curb and let Comet piss on him every morning. <laughs> Should have done. <laughs> Fuck Joey Gladstone. Part Comet, two. Comet was a go-to. Shout oh, out Comet. Of course, Comet, Comet was amazing. Dude. Yeah. Everybody on the show was great. Except. E- except. <laughs> was like, I like the little kid from Kindergarten Cop that was the little shit turd friend of Michelle. <laughs> oh, yeah, I liked it, too. And the Boys kid. have a penis, girls yeah. have a vagina. That yes. Kid. Yes. Even the abused little kid episode was. Joey had nothing with that episode either. Mm. He yeah, hates him. I'm trying to get him smart. And then he did America's Funniest People, which was a complete ripoff of America's Funniest Home <laughs> Videos because he saw Bob Saget get in a bag, and he's like, oh, well, I'm not original. Let me copy him with a lesser <laughs> funny show. About that. America's no, Funniest People. I did not like that show. Hosted by somebody that's not even the first bit of fucking funny. Dave Couillé. <laughs> and he, that's a, you know, that's a good point because in the era of, like, nostalgic where people are having, like, comebacks and runs and doing, mm. like, you never hear anything about Dave Couillé. No, <laughs> no. All he keeps talking about in the interviews, oh, Oh, the Lance Moore said, yeah, it's all he can. Because for some reason, she's a tortured soul and thought he was a good <laughs> fit for a fucking significant other. And how'd that work out? <laughs> was the song uninvited about him? Yeah, I really Probably. won me over. <laughs> Go on on the hill. Hey, he did get invited though. to a Lance couple Morissette Rocket Jock episodes. So many heat yeah, rocks. Oh, dude, be. yeah. But she I'm pretty be. sure uninvited was about Joey Gladstone. And if it is, it couldn't have been a more fitting title. <laughs> 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 Shout yes. out Dave Couillé. Yes. No shout out to Dave <laughs> Couillé. He gets no love. <laughs> Chance, you got one for us? I bet if I say this, y'all are going to know exactly what I'm talking about. Say it. In West Philadelphia, Chill. born and raised. It was oh, a playground is where I spend most of my days. Chilling out, maxing, maxing relaxing, and all cool. cool. Shooting, shooting some b-ball like outside. Of school. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah, that's, uh, that's one. Prince yeah, everybody. Carlton yep. Banks is a, is a, is a American icon. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, Carlton, Carlton Banks Carlton is a Banks fucking American infinitely icon. Infinitely cooler than Joey Glass. He's in my oh, yeah. all time favorite commercial of all time. It's the Pepsi commercial when he was dancing with Michael Jackson. It's my favorite commercial, and I still watch it to this day. Yeah. 
because he was like the original like Michael Jackson dancer as a kid. Yeah, yeah. And Michael endorsed him. That commercial was so cool. Yeah. Shout, shout out Uncle that, Phil. Bro. Uncle uh, Phil was shout a out G. to my main man Shredder. Ja- shout out to James Avery. Good call. Yeah, yes. Shredder Favorite sure. episode of Fresh Prince though is the Lucille episode. When uh, Will gets in trouble playing pool at the pool hall uh, and everything. Oh, I episode. thought she was going to say, why don't they want me, man? No, I, no, thought, I thought she was going to say, that, 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 that episode's that's great. Easy. The that first episode's great to yeah. me when Will's doing the dancing in the fucking oh, room. Man. That shit's classic. Yeah, yeah. but when he's such a classic. Fetch yeah. me Lucille, and then he runs the table on the Oh, dude. dude. I, I love that show. Dude, classic so episodes, great. man. And great, just a great, I mean, obviously. But yes, yeah. I mean, I think that's the most memorable That episode is heartbreaking. Probably. Hmm. It's probably the most memorable theme song because, like, yeah, everybody kids can today sing it. sang it. Right? Yeah, yeah. I've been in clubs and heard that song. Yeah, and everybody asks me all the time, man. And I, everybody, I've, I've been asked this so many times. Martin or Fresh Prince? It's not even close. Fresh, Fresh Prince. Prince is always. Oh. Mm. Not, I just never, I never clinged. Cling to Martin like I did Fresh Prince. Yeah, I like that theme song too, though. Yeah. Martin's Martin. great. Yeah. Yeah. I love yeah. Martin. I love Bruh Man especially. Yeah, yeah. Um, fifth Flow. Bruh Man <laughs> from the Fifth Flow was the. Bi- that's the difference in somebody that mooches and is entertaining, and then Joey. Bruh Man from the Fifth Floor literally just robbed them on a yeah. daily basis <laughs> and just said, "I'm walking right out with it. Ain't nobody gonna do nothing because I'll beat the fuck out of everybody in this room." Yeah, yeah. Man was swole. <laughs> he was swolled up, dude. But yeah, Martin. Um, but I go, I, if I had to choose between the two, I go Fresh Prince. But they're completely different shows yeah. too. It's mm-hmm. like Martin's yeah. more adult, exactly. themed. You know, I believe, was it a yeah. USA show? Uh, Fox. Fox. Yeah, Martin was Fox. Fox Thursday yeah. night. Yeah. Yep. Everybody was watching like Friends and that shit, and I was watching Martin and Living Single. Mm. Yep. It's Living crazy single, to hear the turmoil. It's on my list too. By the way, it's yeah. a hell of a theme song. Living Single. Great. They had a, yeah. Shout oh, out to Queen yes. Latifah because she raps good, that. Shout out yeah. to Overton. <laughs> Sinclair, I, I'm the Dave Coyier of the show. <laughs> I contribute nothing. <laughs> what? He thought he was so cool. Didn't he thought he? he was smooth. He was Joey Gladstone, dude, of that he, show. Shout out to Queen Latifah. I, ah, she kills that. She kills dude. that song. Yeah, that's like that was a good show. She sang and rap song. That's her singing. We are living. In I rap didn't even know that. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, is she? How many seasons was that? Four or five? Ah, that's a good five. question. Probably five. I would say four or five seasons on that. One. Yeah, it was probably yeah. that little. Yeah. yeah. What did it that was, come? What channel? It was on five. It came out it after was, Martin. I was gonna say it came it came like, after Martin. Not right at the beginning, like a couple of years when Martin yeah. was established. Living yeah. single came on right after that. Yeah, oh, that's a banger. Thursday Living night was single. always like a big TV night. Cosby's. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's when Seinfeld. Used Seinfeld to was Thursday too. nights. Friends was Thursday nights. Must see TV. Yeah, must see TV. Yeah. Uh, different world came on after. Yeah. Yeah. Different mm-hmm. world, yeah. bang. different world. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Aretha Franklin. Oh, oh, man. That's her singing that. Which, different world. That was a spinoff of Cosby. Yes, right, yeah. this is true. Okay, yeah. this is uh, true. And Blossom was a spinoff of Fresh Prince. Hmm. Was it really? Yep, it sure was. How, how did, did they How did they connect them dots? I'm trying to. I remember. can't remember. Neither. Look it, I'll look it but up. It was Whoa, that's crazy. Yeah, that's, that's a Joey Lawrence, man. <laughs> that's a Joey I can be cool There's nothing my love can't fix for you, baby. Oh. <laughs> she did have that banger, dude. <laughs> banger. <laughs> yes, dude. I bet your cousin's cousin can't make a better song than <laughs> nothing my love can't fix for you, baby. Everybody wanted to wear a flannel tied around their waist back in the day. because Yeah, he was, <laughs> he was a cool guy. Yeah. And I might be wrong with He was him, always on the I, Rock I, and Jock. He was on Rock and Jock all the time, too. On Rock and Jock. Dan Cortez. Dude. Dude, the Rock. Rock and Jock basketball and the oh, softball games. Yeah. Rock and Jock was yeah. awesome. They said that Blossom was not an official. Okay. Spin- it says it's, it was. People think it's an sp- official spinoff of Golden Girls, but Blossom did exist in the same universe. It's Golden Girls. Yes, yeah, mm. Blossom, starring young Mayim Balik, followed the lives of Blossom, her father, and two elder brothers as they adjusted to their new life after the mother left. I don't know how it was. Golden it was Girls was they're, like they're, a her mom show. was Blanche Devereaux. <laughs> <laughs> Blanche. <laughs> She left yeah. her. He just Blanche left her. De I love Blanche. <laughs> That's another big yeah. uh, old school uh, uh, theme song. Yep. Fun fact. Golden, uh, Girls. Golden Girls. I was putting oh my, my daughter God. down That's to sleep. Goat, <laughs> I was putting my daughter down to sleep one night. She said, Daddy sang me a song. This is recent, I swear. <laughs> and I just started singing, Thank You for Being a Friend. And Thank You for Being a Friend. So lit up. Daddy, I love that. I said, I can't take credit for that. <laughs> she said, who made that song? I said, Sophia, Rose, <laughs> Blanche. Dude. Yeah. Dude, a, a I still, banger. If I see Golden Girls when me and Miller at the house, or if, if I'm by myself, I don't give a fuck. If I see Golden Girls on, I'm fucking watching it. It's so, this show is always classic. funny. Yeah. All of them were funny. Like yeah. They were, they, oh, yeah. The, 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 and that theme song is definitely classic. Thank you for being a friend. They still get some their little 
percent royalty from Spotify for me because I listen to it. Hell yeah, it's, it's a great song. It's, it's a, a great, great song. it's a great song all the way around. I always thought the inch, like the beginning of the show too, was very pleasant. Yeah, like it was. Dude. Around, they showed the front of the house. Yeah, and, and, then, <laughs> and then once you get in the house, it's like all hell breaks loose. Yeah, uh, that show is great. What y'all know about another? Hang on, one more before I forget it. There's another spinoff. Empty fucking yes. nest. Mm. Did you ever watch that show? I remember Empty, mm. empty yes. Nest. It was a spinoff of Golden Girls. It sure was. Really? It's, 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 yeah, it's the true. main guy from Empty Nest that. was yeah. involved. Was he? Was he like seeing? I'm gonna have to look that up too. Well, so many spinoffs, bro. They all got around. Really? Yeah. Blanche was letting that thing. She was letting that kitty cat purr. Yeah. <laughs> Bl- <laughs> Blanche. Yeah, that's what happened. Was there a couple Blossom. spinoffs of Three's Company too? And so. Uh, Come and knock on my door. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, we've been winning. It was a short-lived yeah, Ropers. Yes, yeah, that was like late seventies, yeah. early eighties. That's one of my all-time favorite shows. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. the um, the example of what they call physical comedy. Uh, Jack yep. Tripper's the king of physical. Oh, he's comedy. the OG of it. live live audience. They just doing it. Yeah, he couldn't do no retape. All those falls and bumps and stuff was him. Like he was great. I see, that's that's one thing too nowadays. Too, that you never see. Is you don't. The, you don't see you don't. filming in front of a live studio. No. And I remember that before the show would come on and filming in front of a live studio yep. audience before like shows would co- come on and stuff. My favorite show in front of a live audience was Sanford and Son. Yeah, yes. because he had to stop Bunch. himself from laughing. Yeah, that time he that said, shit. she said, who are you? Call her ugly. He said, I'm calling you ugly. I can stick your face in some dough and make some gorilla cookies. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody started laughing so hard. And like he was like stopping yeah. himself from laughing. And I just lost <laughs> Another it. intro right there. Another theme song. It's Quincy Jones. Yeah. Really? Quincy, and, and Quincy Jones also did the Fresh Prince. Really? That's I why he's not, the GOAT. He's I did not know he's that. The he's the GOAT. Executive produced Thriller too, didn't he? I'm so sick and tired. I love Dr. Dre. I yeah. love, I, y'all watch Drink Champs and stuff? This yeah. They always say, they compare Quincy Jones and Dr. Dre. They are not the same. No. Not put them in their, no, their different lanes. Quincy Jones is in a whole yeah, dude. another. He's behind yeah, everything. A lot of them Michael Jackson bangers and all. Now he's, and then finding that out too, like it. That's wild, man. But I love Dr. Dre. No, oh, yeah, for sure. I got a, I got a game show one for y'all. Yes. Let's go. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Y'all remember that show? Of course I, I, I never saw the show. I never uh, saw you never show. saw that I mean, show. I mean, I remember it. But yeah. I never oh it. man, we used to watch it in school all the time oh, yeah. too. Because I mean, it, it was a great Nintendo theme song. Game or it was. It had a board game to it. It had a video game to it. And, Where is she oh, though? The, they, I can never find her. <laughs> she hanging out with Dave Quinn. I just remember. I just remember <laughs> yeah. the deep, deep tone. Made dude. Her or, or, uh, yeah. Yeah. Get, what does he call that? A baritone. Hey man, that was a pretty good try there, Tony. I can't get it. There was some really good like game show. Oh yeah, oh, theme dude. songs. What would you do? Remember that? Oh, shout all that. Mark, shout out Mark Summers. Yes. All that. This is, uh, in living color. Oh yep. yeah, dude. all that. Don't skip over all that. Dude, that yeah, was, all- that was TLC. Yep, doing that course. banger. Shout yeah. out to yeah, yeah. yeah. Left Eye's yeah. rapping that. The verse is on that. Really? Yep. What's the girl's name? Mary. See, I'm learning something girl new from every day. Good Burger. Uh, Amanda Bynes? No, <laughs> no, the oh, really big one. Good. The girl oh. who was uh, Lord, her the girl that was on the Steve Harvey Lord show. Lori Beth Denberg. Yes, yeah. yeah. she's with out more vital there now. information. Seen her no, I she's in the new Good Burger movie, but I saw I some kind of interview still. clip with her, and she was in like a, a hot tub with somebody doing an interview, and she was whacked the ever. Oh, mm-hmm. Well, have y'all heard about this documentary that's coming out yes. about Nickelodeon? It's coming out like next week or something. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, like Quiet on the Set, yeah. I think it's what it's called. It's yeah, about it's to about blow. To it's about to tear up our childhood pretty much. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, anything, Everybody got R-worded? It's very dark. Yeah, it's, it's very, very dark. dark, and it's all dealing with like Nickelodeon. Yeah, it's, 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 so, I know everything, dude. Really it's about ridiculous. to ruin our childhood. You can't do that on television, dude. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's classic. Mark Summers, double there. What would you do, David? Dude, man? The guts thing. Oh, oh, do you have it? Yeah. Burr, burr, yes. What yes. <laughs> fun <laughs> fact about guts? I'm about to dig into my wrestling nerdism. Kenny King, remember Kenny King? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. He was a contestant on guts. Hmm. Actually, on top of him being a contestant on Guts, they had a Nintendo game or a Sega game. Yes. He mm-hmm. was on the game. No, Shinny King. Kenny King was a Nickelodeon because he was on my he was brother in TNA? and me. And he was on my brother and me on episode, the Cool Dr. Money haircut episode. Oh, <laughs> my God. <laughs> Kenny, Kenny King was on that. Dude, my brother and me is the most epic television Another program. fun fact, D, D, D for my brother and me, is a state trooper, big time officer in Atlanta. <laughs> mm. 
Of course he is. Wow. Yeah. He shout is. out to Atlanta. Shout out to Didi. Did shout y'all ever watch my brother and me? Dude, it mm-hmm. only had one season. 13 episodes, I counted. Dude, me <laughs> and him were obsessed with that show, dude. I waited. Like, it was the worst best show ever. Worst best show ever. I waited five years in a row for them to have a new episode to realize it had been canceled five years ago. <laughs> I didn't the internet before Ash Jeeves could tell us it was. Ash Jeeves could tell me shit. But my favorite basketball player was on there. Kendall Gill. He's not my favorite basketball player. Shout out to Kendall Gill though. But he was on. Hey, he was, Gill episode. Hey, he was Kendall fire on Gill NBA Gill Live ninety five <laughs> over in the corner on the three point contest on NBA Live ninety five. <laughs> him and Glenn Rice. Glenn, uh, Glenn Rice. Yeah, he was a bad boy. <laughs> Alfie, teach me to dance. I <laughs> Glenn Rice rubbed um, rubbed a little funnies with uh, Sarah Palin. Hmm. Glenn Rice? Glenn Rice. Sarah Palin. God, <laughs> randomhookup.com? I don't blame him. That's a fun what fact. What song they were listening to? <laughs> Dawson's <laughs> Creek? <laughs> I don't want to wait. That's it. Hey, shout out to Paula Cole. To be her and her hairy armpits knew how to sing, Thank dude. God, that dude. bitch did not, sorry, that, that woman did not believe <laughs> in shaving her armpits. Is that the same as that? Where have all the cowboys gone? <laughs> yes. That sounds really good. They, dude. Got, they yeah. got to fucking hit under your underarms, there, girl. Yeah, yeah, just <laughs> a little bit of razor. That's all you got to do. <laughs> hey, man, it's a free country. Nair. Paula Cole knew how to knock. She knew how to belt out some good. She oh, sure did. That, that Dawson's Creek, man, that was that was heat. Dude, you're talking to two Dawson's Creek oh, fans. I, the yeah. show itself. Shout out to yeah. Pacey, Pacey Witter over there. Pacey Witter was the GOAT. Uh, Pacey Witter is a GOAT for sure. Dawson Jen Witter. Lindley was the biggest <laughs> trifling <laughs> Did she ever <laughs> smile on any? <anything>? Never. <laughs> we always talked about that too. I mean, what are you so mad about? <laughs> yeah, right. and of course you live. You live. Right y'all live a really good life yeah. on a freaking like creek in like Massachusetts somewhere. The worst thing you have to worry about is y'all running out of your favorite kid cuisine. That's the that one and, and having to cover your sister Bessie's ship <laughs> at the boathouse. <laughs> Don't cover the shift for Bessie. She's spitting out children. Yes. <laughs> I mean, your dad may or may not have been Tony Montana in real life. Oh, my God. <laughs> Shout out to look, Dawson's Creek. Man. Dawson's Creek great, was fire man. until they great. went to college. Everything's fire until they go to yeah, college. Yeah, Saved by the too, Bell. Right? Saved by the yeah, Bell. That's, that's my all-time favorite yeah, going, show. Going into that. That's my all-time When I wake up in the morning and I love my yeah. 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 You can literally blindfold me and put on any episode of any season oh, and yeah. I can just start telling you the words to it. Well, mm-hmm. do you remember that this is before you came on but I know that you saw this that when our way. friend Tony here said teaching Mrs. Tingle yeah, was I, was I, way I, off. I was yeah. way off. Yeah, we, uh, have, yeah. we have to talk about that Good after morning, the show. And what it was amazing <laughs> that is that he called out the movie with what are, uh, what was his name? Katie Holmes in it? He's a oh, movie, yeah, teacher, he is Mrs. the Tingle. movie yeah. buff of all movie buffs though. This dude knows yeah. it. Well, that's what happens when you buy them and sell them for six years. <laughs> <laughs> I bought 61 movies this week, guys, and I saw all of them two I weeks later. I haven't seen one. 60 movies in ever in my life. Dude, but that, uh, but that yeah. by the Bell, we, we got to dedicate some time to it for sure. Yeah. Oh, but the co- it, it got ruined, back. too. Yeah. Kelly Kapowski oh was the best part of the college years. She's the best part of Saved by the Bell. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Most definitely. Lisa Turtle was my. Lisa was my, Turtle, yeah. Was my, like, first probably real. Well, my second crush in my life. Punky Brewster was my first crush yeah. ever. Maybe. Oh, we know uh, how Chance uh, feels about uh, Punky I Brewster. I promise you, you know. Lisa Turtle was Ooh, Lisa she, was my Lisa, favorite. She, yeah, Lisa. Was. And Zach really dated her. I did not yeah. know that. Yeah. 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 And they were like a real couple on there. Mark Paul. Clawson. I'll tell you somebody I couldn't stand and say by the bell. Mikey. <laughs> oh, there's and a the reason t- why he got in the teaching Mrs. Tingle days. <laughs> 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 Mikey, <laughs> and then you got you got old TK Carter, dude. Yes, yes. TK Milo. Was yeah, Milo. Milo. I love oh. TK Carter. Dang it, TK I, Carter was the shit. Actually, dude. I have more I think about. It. I actually hate Mikey too. Dude, <laughs> Mikey was, he was Joey. <laughs> he sucks. There's yeah, a reason they Jerry swapped girl. him out for AC. Yeah, yeah they got cool. rid of him. <laughs> He was, I mean, did, him and AC looked exactly the li- alike. They Except had, for AC had talent. Yeah. yeah. And he hasn't aged <laughs> Albert all. Clifford, damn it. <laughs> Albert Clifford, dude. So, favorite episode of Saved by the Bell? Mm. Oh, oh mm. man. The most heartbreaking episode is probably when uh, Zach and Kelly break up at the prom. Yeah. Dude. Yeah. Uh, dude yeah. Fuck it, you, Jeff. Fuck you. Yeah, Fuck Jeff, you. Jeff, when Jeff, Jeff moved in at the max. Yeah. Mm, that was, My favorite one. I got two. The mall one when they I go to the mall, yeah, that. yeah. And when Zach concert, yeah, and when <laughs> Zach is a piece of shit, and him and Screech get into a fight. Oh mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Because he, a, he he kisses Lisa. Lisa. Yeah. What so. about what about the one where uh where Zach and Screech sell that or Zach sells the uh, cream? 
Oh, it, oh, it, it, yeah. it, it turns Kelly. Red, yeah, yeah. It turns Kelly's face red, and she yes. got to be the homecoming queen. I like the scene when Zach and Sadie got to fighting too. That was pretty yeah. good. That's, so. Yeah, that yeah. was great too. Yeah. But when, so when, when they formed the band, my favorite yeah. scene <laughs> ever though is when they did the buddy bands dance. Though. <laughs> oh, dude, dude <laughs> I had bands. that on my Instagram years ago. I just recorded myself watching that. <laughs> dude, buddy bands, dude. dude yeah. I want to get a buddy band. If anybody wants to give me something for Christmas, dude, get me a buddy band. That made that show made me late to school quite a bit. Yeah, because yeah, then after school, it, it was at TBS five minutes after. It was like 4.05 and 4.35. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And it was – which, but it, before in the mornings, it would yeah. come on like it played in the morning. Yeah. Sure did, yeah. Um, I never got into like the next – the new the class. New class, yeah. Where yeah, they were just screeching, belting. Mm-hmm. Um, what about Tori? Remember her? Oh, God. Leather Tori. jacket Tori. There was – remember when, when you had all the seasons and Still nobody do. could understand – the the order like there was no you yeah, know what I'm that's saying? the it thing was, that's always like hindered that show is they're, they're were, all out of order even like non tour even all of them go back yeah. to the beginning they're always out of order yeah they don't it's like they didn't never continue them unless it was a two part episode there's a really good podcast though called Say by the Max with like Mark Paul's on there talking about a lot of the show it's oh really fantastic huh. yeah. like, a lot of like deep dive stuff they talk obscure stuff on there but it's just out of order they just they was one of the like most poorly funded shows ever. They didn't have yeah. any money. Yeah. Didn't do. they do like a documentary type movie yeah. on the show or something yeah. like with Full House, them, and yeah. some other show? It's not really. good. It's not good. No. I want to check out that podcast you were talking about. It's that. so good. I yeah. said definitely too. have to check that out. It's really yeah, yeah. good. Shout out Saved by the Bell, dude. Hell yes. yeah. One of the other- check out Mike Golick. <laughs> in college years. Yeah. Standing at the edge of tomorrow. One it's all up to me how long I'll go. Yeah. I'll throw out one, a newer one for y'all. And, uh, it's a show that I recently just watched the whole series in, in one get going. That's Friday Night Lights. Great show. Mm-hmm. Oh, Great show. It's amazing. Have you, how, have you and Mel made it through it? Any no, we're, we're like third episode in season two. We just haven't had time to sit Such and watch it. Show. I need, I yeah. need to just – I watched it first run. Though. Dude, that, yeah. it's one of the best shows ever put out. It's, Peter a, it's, Bur- a, it's a Peter Burke. Yeah. All Peter Burke yeah. and – uh, I can't it's think of the coach or his show. name right now. He's Shout out to James Randy B again. The, I don't want your life. Yeah. yeah. But uh, that, you talking little, Kyle Chandler? <laughs> Kyle Chandler. Yeah, yeah Kyle Chandler. Um, but he, just one of the greatest shows ever put out. I'll sit there and watch the whole series again. Uh, what is it? The Marcus first season is the longest. reference of, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? I think Varsity Blues is what I just did a reference of, but whatever. <laughs> it's over the top, bro. It's fine. Yeah, yeah it's, it's right a play as fuck up. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. But I don't want your life. You I do not want Fire that your... fucking pig skin. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, the, right the, the accent, the only one that had an accent that was worth anything was Billy Bob, R.I.P. I, know, it. Yeah, really yeah, I agree with that. Unsolved Mysteries? Did that one oh, used to scare dude, y'all yeah. back in the day? It scared me, but I liked it, though. <laughs> I always hated the episodes when it was about aliens. That's what oh, scared me the most. Yeah, uh, yeah, exactly. The Missing Persons one was, like, the most intriguing to me. Like, yeah. And Robert Stack was, like, so dope at, like, the the, the, the He voices. gave the whole vibe to that show, bro. Yeah. And then, of course, 3-6 sampled it multiple oh, times. Yeah, they did. Fire yeah, songs. they did. DJ Paul and Fraser Boy did a fire song that beat. I remember, but but I'm totally with you on the even to this day. We've talked about this multiple times. How alien shit just scares the shit out of me oh, yeah. and the realisticness of it. Yeah, because realisticness. Shut up. Yeah, absolutely. They're out there. Um, here's Same one that I noticed wasn't on the list. What? Uh, very conveniently, Seinfeld, motherfucker. Brandon used to do that all the time. Have it on your list. No. Nobody, it's on nobody's list. Y'all, y- y'all are, no, I get it. It's I purposely fine. didn't put it on mine because I just knew it would be on here. Yeah, it was, yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. <laughs> All the other ones that, that I've had, we've, y'all had on y'all's. Yeah. But like Seinfeld, obviously, I mean, it's a terrible thing. I got thing. one on my list and maybe no one will. And it's a bop. If you've never heard it, you got to listen to it. Night Court. Oh, Night Court. Shout out to Bull. Dude, yeah. that theme song is Night awesome. Qu- my my nanny Papa used to watch I did I think it used to come on Saturday nights. Yep. Or reruns or something no, on WGN. Cat or whatever his name is. Because I want to say it would come on sometimes before the Bulls games would come on. Yeah, you know? you're right. You're right. You yes. are so right. You're so throwing I, it yes. back right that's, now. Because I, I watched Lock in the yeah. Heat of the Night. And, you know, oh, the night that's a, a Heat of the Night had another in, uh, yeah. theme song that was a Heater. My nanny, my nanny yes. loved uh, Murder She Wrote too. Oh, Lansbury. Lansbury, dang it. Lansbury. Yeah, song. that came on. I should like. I could not wait till it went off because that's when Raw would come on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it was USA. Yes, yes. Yeah, I'm like just hurry up. Get out of here. I just want to see. 
Duke the Dumpster Joe. So you fight the, <laughs> the goon the in a false count anywhere <laughs> match right now. So please go off. <laughs> the goon. Oh, Raw had some bangers too yeah. over the years. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Not for real. Yeah. 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 The Money Nitro theme song. Yeah. I like Nitro Yeah. It started like cool. three minutes early yeah. to get ahead of Raw too. Yeah. That was smart for that. Mm-hmm. No, they definitely were, man. I think that. uh. Thunder in Paradise will come on sometime oh, before Thunder. that. Terrible yeah. show. I have Terrible all of those on DVD. Show. Loved Thunder. it. How many seasons was Thunder in Paradise? It's weird because it's like, it, is it, it a movie food? or is it a TV show? It, was, it had like, a couple movies as yeah, well, right? Yeah. That's right. It it's kind of like just all yeah, broke up. I don't know. I, I know I loved it. It, it was, was Night Rider in a boat. Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that one dude brewed. He was trying to be Brutus the Barber Beefcake. What? Yeah. Thunder in Paradise felt like it had a 20 seasons, but it only had one. I watched it all God, the time, though. Isn't that crazy? Back in the day, like you didn't think about I it. I literally have the whole set on DVD, though. But oh. I think there was a couple movies to it as well, though. So yeah. that's maybe, maybe what you're thinking as well. Yeah. I yeah. think that's a movie, and they broke it up into like a season, like a show. Probably yeah. I could be wrong, but. Yeah. Shout out to Hogan. That was when, was that 93, 94? Yeah, when, era when he, when he, uh, he didn't have muscles anymore because they were lost steroids. Speaking, <laughs> speaking of muscles. Uh-oh. Boom, 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 boom. Roseanne, baby. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. Dude. Yes. John Goodman's the goat. Dude. He's still the goat. Yeah, he still he is. Still is. Mm-hmm. Because, what's the name? Uh, Bryce Gemstones is. Oh, dude, I need to catch up. On, I've only watched the first two oh, seasons. Man, I don't know how many they've done. The show's fantastic, man. But that, um, Roseanne's one of my favorite shows of all yeah. time. I, I feel it's a nine season show. Mm-hmm. I feel like it, it ended in that. The last episode of episode of season eight. Yeah. Whenever Jim Varney came on, R.I.P. Ernest. <laughs> yeah. Whenever he came on and they hit the lottery, it, 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 I don't count season nine, but mm. Roseanne was the end. Roseanne was my favorite. Yeah, it was my favorite show. It's, up. it's one of our fall asleep shows right now. So, well, definitely yeah. a good throw it on. show. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. It's a great one. What you got for us? Uh, I'll throw uh, Law and Order. Dun 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 right. dun yeah. dun. That may be one of the most recognizable. Oh, absolute themes. And I, it, yeah. well, it covers. Uh, because you have the Law and Order show, then you have Dude. Special Victims Unit, then you have Terrorist Unit, and then you have the Firefighter Unit they show. Got, uh, every, I mean, there's so many different... Every city in the world. Yeah, Dude, there's yeah. so many I, I've never seen an episode all the way through. Yeah. Well, I think if you've seen one, you've seen them all. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's like somebody did this. Let's, well, Melissa know. watches the Law and Order... Uh, the SDU one, or yes, like the one where it's like the terrible story, like mm-hmm. the worst of the worst. It's like, the worst of the worst. It's yeah. like, how can you sit here and watch this with enjoyment? Oh, well, they catch the motherfuckers <laughs> at the end. <laughs> but, yeah, but they're terrible people. It's like you, how, you say that as we watch Terrifier too. That, this is very <laughs> true. Sawing a woman's vagina in half. Oh, good God! Yeah, this, how do you watch Law and Order? With no <laughs> <laughs> we all yeah, got touche, our shows. That touche. Are, uh, yeah, but, no, but that's, it's like, it's almost like a. Like chicks really like those kind of shows. Yeah, like, like my mm-hmm. wife is addicted crime, to Grey's true. Anatomy. And yeah. Grey's Anatomy, yeah. like Grey's Anatomy, is g- gorier than any horror movie that I watch. Yeah. I just like that show. I just kind of lost track of it. Well, there's like going? twenty yeah. seasons still of on, it. Man. It's like yeah. The Simpsons, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's still crazy. Is it the longest running television show that's not that's not animated? I have no clue uh, on that one. But I, th- I think they're like in like time? fifteen seasons. Of all time, it's Gunsmoke. A gun, yeah, okay, I think yeah. they went like twenty some yeah. odd seasons. Yeah. Okay, well, it's catching it. Yeah, sure. I think they're like right there, at like fourteen or fifteen. Gunsmoke Smoke used to be the longest running episodic TV show, and then Raw passed it. Uh, Raw, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. There was many. There was a few different inclinations of that. Andy Griffith, too. the little whistle. Oh, yeah, shout out to BJ. Whistle, so I can't even like <laughs> take part in that. <laughs> BJ did a song. Shout out to BJ the DJ. He did a song sent with it sure to did. a beat sampling. No uh, way, Andy Griffith, and it was really dope. It was called what was he called it? Was it did called he call Andy Griffith? Or Andy Griffith. He I called it Andy Griffith. Called it yeah. Andy Griffith. I'll have to look it wasn't up. as good as the Pink Panther song. Well, nothing in the world's better than that. I want you to do a Pink Panther remix with Dave Corey. <laughs> we got to let Chance and Tony hear that when next time. I, got, I do have it at home. I need to pull it out of my, my archives. Yeah, man. Chance, what you got for us, buddy? Yeah, man. What about Friends? Oh, yeah. It's one of the most iconic. I mean, it is, for yep. sure. You, you can't, uh, with TV shows, you got to mention the Friends theme. Mm-hmm. All you fake gangsters in the world who act like you don't know it, you know the theme song. You know I'll it. be there for you me. Do, yeah, it's it's Because it's you're there for me, too. But that was a real song, too. Yeah. I, that's why I can't realize, I can't remember if, like, I forget the artist, the Go Go, somebody like that. Did they? I don't know if they did it for the show. Or was it already a song? I can't remember. But it had, the song had some traction. But it, it got them. It, yeah, it, it, it made huge. them some money. Absolutely. Yeah. And God bless Jennifer Aniston. Oh, mm. yeah. Me, yeah. Meow. No, just, uh, 
<laughs> I'll be there for you is a song by American pop rock duo, The Rembrandts. The Rembrandts. Yeah, the song was written by David Crane. It uh, says, main theme song from NBC sitcom Friends, which was broadcast from 94 to 04. It was on to 04. Yeah. It's it was crazy. 10 seasons, I know. Yeah. 4 to 04. 9 or 10 seasons. It's always a couple of shows that like they'll do it right at that decade, that 10 year one. 902 and 0 was like that. They went yeah. from 90 to 2000. Yeah. So Seinfeld was nine seasons. Jerry Seinfeld ended it in nine. Yeah. They wanted him to keep it going. He was going to offer him a shit ton of money. I mean, you could still be doing it. It's a show. No, that, for sure. Because yes, yeah. there's no storyline. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but that is true though. A lot of those shows, he's getting paid eight, probably more than he uh, oh paid oh, he's, more he's now. Got, he got a Netflix bag, then a Hulu mm-hmm. bag. Now he's back over to Netflix, oh, and he still gets smart. the TBS and Comedy Central bags yep. from syndication. So yeah, he's do, he's, he's doing, doing well. I mean, he's going on comedy stand up. Yeah, I mean, he's 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 a boss for sure. Yeah. Um, another one, and I see it on this list too. I was thinking of something that wasn't sitcom, Sopranos. Oh yeah, Sopranos. yeah. That's good. God, that's, that's so good. That's show. definitely one like like the Breaking Bad. Or like yeah. you could just play in the car. Yeah, I got one good one for you. He's a cool guy. He um may or may not have played for the Golden State Warriors, but I thought he did as a kid. His name is Hanging with Mr. Cooper. Oh man! Oh my God! Yes. Dude. Hey, where's my theme music? Cooper. <laughs> I like totally forgot about that. Yeah, yeah, I dude. totally forgot about that. Yeah, show, shout, out, shout out Mark Curry, man. Yeah. I, yeah. I loved, I loved seeing when the Shay Shay episode happened yes. and Cat Williams yes. got to got to get on there and really say mm-hmm. how these. MFers are like have been stealing from Mark Curry and not giving him his flowers and stuff yeah. because the Steve Harvey show was hanging with Mr. Cooper. It's exactly yeah, that's what I they, never realized that. That's what they said, but like Steve Harvey was the Steve Harvey show was a direct rip off of Mr. Hanging with Mr. Cooper I love for sure. He used to come on Saturday mornings, dude. Yeah. What was that other show? It was a basketball show. Hang time, we're hang time. together. Oh, yeah, yes, dude. Yeah. dude. Holy, say by the building new class. Same. Don't hate on me. Another TV show I loved a lot. Theme song was California. There it is. Yes, dude. California. Yes. California. Sir, dudes with attitudes. <laughs> yes. Can I prove it? Lay back moves. Yes, dude. Sir, man. dudes with attitudes. Dude. That's the name of the episode unofficial. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Peter Engel, man. Peter Engel. He did. He did. Dude. He did. He, another one, too. C I T Y. You can't see why these guys are streetwise, smart, streetwise. City guys, damn it. Yeah. City, guys. <laughs> City guys, damn it. City guys, damn it. City guys, I'm trying City to think. guys, dude. Obscure, dude. Came on on Saturday mornings, dude. They're in like that Say Bye Build a New Class. I'm a fucking nerd. Okay? <laughs> City guys, dude. dude. Go back. Y'all, when y'all have some free time. Yeah. YouTube city guys. I definitely will. And then surf dudes with attitude. What you got? (laughs) What you got over? You got something? Yeah. Shout out to the group Primus who did South Park. Oh, yeah. South Park. One of my favorite shows of all time. Yeah. Yeah. went right into that, like, you know, we're wrestling people too. Like the attitude era. Oh, yeah. It just hit. 97. That's when it started, right in the heart of the attitude era. Yeah, I mean, it hit right at the right time at our adolescence. Dude, I remember the first episode. (laughs) Seriously. I was at a buddy's house and we, we went next door to his friends, and his friend's brother had a VHS tape. Of South Park, and I guess it was like a few episodes because back then it wasn't seasons. It yeah. was like here's the best of, and it was the episode where Car- Cartman got a probe. <laughs> and I just remember thinking because I was a Beavis and Butthead fan, and I was oh, like, yeah. my parents they let me watch Beavis and Butthead, but they were like, don't, yeah, you don't, don't really do need to do. repeat any of the yeah. stuff that they say. Yeah. But then I saw South Park, and they're saying everything, GD, and yeah. putting stuff up their asses and shit. And I'm like, what is this, dude? <laughs> Hooked. As dude. I always used to like, if I didn't watch the episode, I couldn't wait to get back to school to ask how Kenny died. <laughs> yeah. I had to know. If I didn't see it, you know. Speaking of South Park, another banger from that. Sh- there were so many bangers within the South Park universe of oh, songs. Yeah. Kenny's dead. We're going to ride tonight. Master P. Uh, <laughs> Kenny's dead. That's damn good little pull out right there. Wow. I forgot about that. Oh, wow. my God. Or you got this. I got to do this one. Is you, me, simultaneous loving, baby. Chef. <laughs> yes. Chef, Chef, yes. Chef, yes. Chef, simultaneous loving. That was a yeah. snake. That was a little, Isaac Hayes, right? Isaac yeah. Hayes. Yeah. I remember that. Yeah. Chef's yeah, what a, they, it was horrible how they killed off Chef's character. Oh, mm-hmm. The mm-hmm. whole story behind that is they, you know, he he didn't agree with some of the episodes and something they left on bad terms. And I guess the way that they killed him off was I mean he fell off a cliff, then he got destroyed by bears, then they peed on him and shit. It was, it was <laughs> <laughs> wow. It was rough, but it's I mean that's what South Park does. Yeah, yeah. But like yeah. they hit all simultaneous love. That same day, if, if, if like if Beavis or Butthead fell off a cliff. 
and had coyotes eat them. Yeah. Five minutes later, they'd be, <laughs> I'd be like, back up, <laughs> <laughs> laughing about the shit, which is another fire theme song. Yep. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. And it had two uh, two great spinoffs. I mean, people forget King of the Hill came yeah. from there too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I mean, what a in Daria, yeah, diarrhea, dude. Can we yes, can we Daria, say it here? Huh? I don't know if we have Beavis and Butthead are the original reaction channel. Yep. Yes. Yeah, they yeah, were the yeah, first yeah. reactors. Yeah. They Absolutely. Were the first video reactors. Absolutely. Dude. They were the Fox. Like that's. What, <laughs> yeah. I love that stuff. That's oh, my favorite part about the show. Yeah, that's what sucks yeah. when you bought the DVDs because yeah. it didn't have didn't any of the it. videos. Absolutely. In it. Oh, really? Because no. of the licensing. Oh, so yeah. like they would just have the the story parts, which were funny. But that you watched Beavis wanted, and Butthead yeah. for the reaction. I did. Videos. Yeah. I did. I love that show. But man, that was see. I loved pop up video on VH1. Oh, dude. Yeah. That was a, that was Pop a, up video. Yeah, it's <laughs> one, man. I used to love it, man. I remember when music channels played music. That yeah, really yeah. Cool. They, yeah. No shit. Now they play ridiculousness all day long. That's yeah. all they play. Shout out to Rob Deerdick. That's literally all they play on MTV. They don't play yep. anything else. Real World and Road Rules killed that for MTV. Shout out to CT, though. I like him. Yeah. CT. Oh, he's watching right now. So, CT. Yeah. What up, CT? Yeah, first name C, last name T. T. Last name T, son. <laughs> oh, step by step, dude. Yeah, yeah. oh that's yeah, one, that's one of my favorite <laughs> things. Oh, dude, go ahead, hit him with it. This is dreams are smoking. Seems like always lost. Could you be the future? You can pay the cost. You were. Would there ever be second time <laughs> around? Roller coaster saying cue and everybody, everybody's having a good time. <laughs> step by step, <laughs> day by day. Hurt my feelings. I just found this out recently. Okay, that theme park. Was not really there. Hmm. They put that there. It wasn't like a real theme park in that spot. So that they, they just did it like for all, the intro. Yes. Set? yes, it wasn't a real that's roller coaster. No. That's uh, what. That's what I heard anyway. I, I, my childhood. I, I, don't quote it. me on that. But I was reading some shit recently. And when he hits the muscle, I gotta say, ding, ding. Oh, shout out to my boy I, uh, I, Cody, man. Yeah, <laughs> shout, shout out to uh, Sasha Mitchell. Sasha. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he was oh, in Kickboxer too. He, I think he really. I think he really can kick some ass. Yeah, I think he, he died horribly in that, didn't he? What was the one he died horribly in? We talked about it before. It kickboxer two or three. I think like, he did two or three. Yeah, I'll take but, three kickboxers that I fucking hate. Since so I'm gonna go on a rant real quick. Go ahead. Fuck mm. you, Colt. Fuck you, Rocky. And fuck you, Tum Tum. Whoa, the three three ni- Rocky. They does. said aya before they ever even done something. <laughs> aya! Ah! Five seconds later, <laughs> or aya. <laughs> Dude, I know ni- Dude. I know we're talking about TV show things, but Three Ninjas is one of the greatest Dude. films of all time. All time. I mean, we could do Bank a whole it. episode on Three Bank Ninjas. It. Bank you. it. Rocky loves Emily. Dude, yes. can we talk about how <laughs> annoying Rocky's girlfriend was? I hate him. I hate, I hate him. Dude, the, the best Rocky. Worst, goon, worst goons, worst goons I gotta, ever. I got to say, though, Marvin and Harry are the, be- are the best goons of all time, but I think the goons from... Three ninjas are a close. <laughs> they are bad. I'm waiting on the pi- yeah, dude. Like gets his head that? stuck in between the the, the on the stairs. Oh my god! <laughs> I went off went off track again. My bad, y'all. Yeah, that's so, what we do, man. Man, I can't tell you. If you're watching, I'm totally joking. I actually really love them. I uh, <laughs> thought they were. So, they I, didn't kick. They didn't kick hard nothing. at all, dude. Nothing. Really? I was sold on it as a ten year old though. Yeah, I was too. <laughs> Me and my brother watched that. I remember they had like a neon. Maybe they had like a neon orange VHS tape when you played it. You sure did. Yeah, <laughs> yep. we we watched the hell out I of three ninjas. I have that man. DVD at home too, and it is yeah. neon orange. Oh, oh yeah, dude. Yes, dude. Shout out. Hell yeah. What dude. about the Jeffersons? That's a oh, moving all on up. Yep. To no. the east side. What was that a spinoff of? That was a spinoff of if I'm all not my mistaken, family. All in the family. All, all in the family. family. Yep. Yeah. All in the family. Yep. Yep. Archibald. In a deluxe apartment. Mm-hmm. And Nelly did a little sample or re- 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 just a little one. Yeah, yeah he made a little, little money off that one. Yeah. I think. It was a kind of a big song. For yeah, him. he's pretty. He knows what he he's had doing. Had that skullet going on though, boy. Oh, <laughs> dude, that was a masterful skullet. Hey, mm-hmm. Shout out to George Jefferson. <laughs> George Jefferson was the man. Though. <laughs> Even though he's dead, he's still alive. Shout out to Stephen A. Smith. He looks just like him. <laughs> <laughs> he's just like him. <laughs> just like him, dude. That same little whatever you call that little haircut and that little walk. And stuff. <laughs> <laughs> always frowning, never ever smiling. Never, always. Never I love once. Steve A. Smith. Though. I do love him though. But uh, the, the Dukes of Hazard oh, with a yes. with the Waylon Jennings yes, uh, wrote it for it. Boys. Just been. a good old boy. Oh, shout out to Daisy. Shout out to Daisy. Dude. I was man. There's so many t- uh, playing cars out in the yard as a kid and building ramps and uh, did y'all, uh, the remote control cars. 
Did y'all have remote control cars off the the cord or on the cord? I can uh, never get the uh, Ford one that was off the cord. I don't think I ever had a remote control car. I just had like Hot Wheels or Matchbox, yeah. and then I had GI Joes and wrestling. My figures. brother had most of those. I had most of the wrestling figures and the yeah. turtles and stuff, but he had some. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I could never get like the fancy ones that were off the cord. All mine were always attached to like the little like phone cord. Like the spiral oh, yeah. cord and everything, yeah. you get about ten feet worth of, away from you. <laughs> and we thought we thought you were doing it. Yeah, didn't you? I was raising hell. Did you buy Chuck. from KB or Toys R Us? Uh, is the question. No, it was Hills up there on, the, oh, okay. on the, down in Hermitage where the bowling alley is now. Okay. HG Hills. All mm, right. Yeah, <laughs> respect. Yeah. Respect. Old school in the old school WalMarts. Oh yeah, yep. the good old days. Oh, yeah. Those are the good old days for sure. They really were. I think that's. I, I think. Good? I, I think other ones. We, could, we, we could always do a part two of this later. I got one. Go ahead. one. Cops. Oh, oh man. Awesome, man. Bad Bad boys, bun, bad bad boys. Boys. man, I loved it when the Nashville episodes would always show yep. up on there. <laughs> man, and there was no so delay. Two people that's like, been on a couple of those it was like, it was like, I keep waiting because I'm obsessed with On Patrol Live. Like I, I don't want like the live ones that's out now. Oh yeah, yeah. I keep thinking they're gonna do something in Tennessee. I'm, I guess they're scared to go to Memphis, but oh, if, can you imagine if they did in Nashville? Oh gosh, mm-hmm. how insane! We would see somebody we knew on every week. <laughs> yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. But like Cops was great, but like Cops was so delayed. You'd watch an episode of Cops, and it's like new episode, but it's from like 1997. <laughs> well, that was also the original. Fox show, yeah, mm-hmm. reality TV. Yeah. That reality it TV. Was reality TV. Fox didn't. You know, I realized it was the fourth one. It it came out. It didn't come out to like eighty, like eighty seven, yeah. eighty eight. And, and true, Cops yeah. was like the lead into like actual Fox. Yeah. That was that The Simpsons. Uh, Arsenio Hall, like was, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. When did yeah. Rescue Nine One One come on? You remember that? Uh, who's that? that uh, what's the name? Uh, William, Shatner. William Shatner. William yeah, Shatner. Yeah, but yeah. was that? It was around that era. I feel like yeah, it was a little a, bit before, maybe. I want to say that era. Yeah, late eighties, early nineties, maybe. Yeah. Um, but I just great the, show. Like yeah, said, yeah, yeah. I used to love that show, man. I, I remember. Um, the one I remember the most is about the kid that blew his hand off with the fireworks. Okay, oh, yeah. which your yeah. parents always see. I told you so. And that turned out to be a CBS. real life CBS. NFL player. 80, Eighty-nine, right? Eighty-nine <laughs> is when it aired. One hundred twenty-seven episodes, seven seasons. Seven seasons. Oh wow! Okay. CBS. Was that a Saturday night show? I feel like it's same on Saturday nights. I feel like, like mm, I watched it with my we'll grandmother. See. I feel like back in the day. Great That's show. Well. Yep. I loved it. Shout out to William Shatner, by the way. He's the first person brought that jungle fever to TV. <laughs> <laughs> William, William Shatner crawled so I could walk. <laughs> first first hour long program premiered um, April eighteenth, nineteen eighty nine. Um, Tuesday nights okay. at seven p.m. Okay. or eight p.m. Eastern. Yeah, for most of its run, ranking in the top thirty for four of its seven seasons. I didn't know it had that many seasons. Did America's Most Wanted come on after that too? <sighs> All this stuff just kind of blurs. I can't. I can't yeah. think. Yeah, it all blurs. I thought that was a, C, uh, a Fox show, but I yeah. don't know. I never really watched it. That was the one with a uh, uh, Steve Walsh. Walsh and it, something happened with Busy Bone, and, and that, like I think he got kidnapped, or there's some kind of tie-in where the oh, guy geez. from America's Most Wanted re- saved Busy Bone because of that show. Really? So he got kidnapped as a kid. Or, I did know that. There's something like that that it's tied in. I, I've heard about that multiple times. Oh, I've heard wow. him talk about it. Holy um, cow. Mm. But yeah, that's pretty crazy. I had to look that one up. Very yeah. interesting. I used to throw one more cartoon out, just just some good old nostalgic reasons. Shout out to Darkwing Duck. Yes, yep. that's another good one. Darkwing Duck. Dude. Darkwing Duck. It's a <laughs> yeah, spin off of DuckTales. Yes, it sure was. What yeah. what about Tailspin? Oh yeah, <laughs> yes, dude. <laughs> dude. Remember after these messages, we'll <laughs> be right <laughs> back. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, wow! Yes. Oh, okay, I'll throw note the X the X Men animated show. Yeah. All right, favorite X Men, everybody. Uh, Wolverine. Gambit was for me. Yeah. I never, I've, I never watched X Men. I mean, yeah. I just never watched, I watched it. I watched wrestling and sports. It's all no. I watched really around that Did you time. watch American Gladiator? Oh, oh yeah. man, that was another Fire. good thing right there, yeah, dude. dude. Have you watched that documentary on Netflix? Yeah, man, it's pretty. I didn't realize that either. Yeah, That's it's, tough right it's, there. It's, wow. Yeah, yeah. It says Busy Bone speaks in an interview that he was uh, kidnapped at age four and rescued thanks to America's Most Wanted and John Walsh. That's wild. That's wow. Crazy, I remember holy hearing that. Hell, hell holy that. shit. And that's a fact right there, yeah, too. For sure. <laughs> Jack. That's, that's a for fact. Sure. What am I going through? Going through. I'm going to miss everybody. Run, but I'm a shotgun. Oh, my God. Nobody can stop me. 
<laughs> what am I going through? What am I going through? Uncle Charles, I hope he's watching up, up above. <laughs> I really miss him. I do. Too, man. Uh, I should miss that Wishbone album that never came out neither. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. I love Bone, by the way. It's my favorite group of Yeah, all. I, I love Bone, too. Yeah. yeah. The, but, we kid, we kid. Yeah. It had to be said. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, dude. <laughs> it's a great way to end this episode. <laughs> it definitely is, dude. Y'all, I hope that y'all enjoyed the episode. Comment below. Let us know y'all's uh, some themes that y'all like. I left twenty of them off. So yeah. Oh yeah. We can come back. We can always spin around back to it. We'll do another part because we can think about these for days. But y'all be sure to hit the subscribe button. Uh, like I said, hit the comment section up. All these gentlemen's links will be in the description. And shout out to the Natural Disasters and all of their friends, Trouble yep. Spirits. Revolution One Media, Toast Tino's Pizzas. Mm, 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 mm. They delicious. We out this motherfucker. <laughs>